Art students, Brian Proctor, the art teacher, back again, ready to drop some more knowledge on you guys. All right, so today we're going to talk about perspective. I, now, I've talked about perspective in some other videos, but the more I can clarify it, the more I'll show you here. So we're going to talk about perspective in your drawings because a lot of times people will draw characters and they'll have no background. And that's either because they really don't understand how to do it or they don't know what to put in the background. So I'm going to try to clarify that to make that a little easier by showing you guys some perspective um, drawings. Not perspective drawings, but showing you what you can do in your drawings perspective-wise. Okay, I'm going to start rambling. So let's get drawing. Okay, let's just say this is you. This is you. This is not me, Brian. It's just for the for the sake of it. This is you, and then you have glasses. Now, if you have these glasses, and I put a stripe across these glasses, everything you see will have that line across it. Uh, whatever. Here's a here's a lamp. Here's a lamp, and you're looking at this lamp. You're going to see a stripe because of that line. In your glasses so that is going to represent your eye line it's either your eye line they said your eye line or it could be your horizon line but I don't really like to use the horizon line because if you're inside you know you really can't see the horizon so I like to call it your eye line so what the this line is going to represent is anything above that line that you're seeing and this is not you looking up and down and this is not your character's perspective. This is your perspective. This is what you see when you draw that picture. Uh, for instance, um, you're not going to see that. Yeah, okay, well, I'll just use it. This is what you're seeing right now. Uh, this, is a, this is another video. I don't know if you may have seen it already. You might not have seen it already. I'm depending on, you know, the, the schedule of when I put these videos up. It's what you see. Oh, when you draw something, it's what the person's going to see. It was, it's you, what you see as the artist drawing it. So as I said, if you, anything above this line, you're going to see the bottom. Anything below that line, you're going to see the top of it. So that's going to make it a little more simpler. Now, there's a lot more stuff that I wanted to say before I actually get to the drawing. But I get my best ideas when I wake up first thing in the morning and if I don't jump on it right away stuff slips out of my head so let's get to the drawing and maybe I'll be able to um, remember what I was going to say so first thing I want you to do this is kind of an exercise and it'll get you to see and kind of understand first thing I want you to do is just draw a figure just don't try to draw the greatest figure in the world just draw what I call the clothespin figure if you were back in the day when you had the um, hang clothes out on the clothesline, you know, understand what a clothespin is. So, and it's easy to draw the body. That's, that's a simple body. You know, you can detail it later. People struggle with trying to draw the body. And it's just, it's really, really, really simple. And maybe I'll do a video on drawing from a stick figure on up, which I have done before. But show you just easy ways to draw the body if you're like a beginner. So, now I want you to draw a line right through the center of this guy. So you got your glasses on, you're looking at it, you see, you're seeing your character, and you draw a line right through the center of that guy right there. Now from there, I want you to draw some squares. Just put them anywhere you want to, any size, squares, rectangle. Put them anywhere you want to in your picture. Don't have to be perfect. You can do the perfection later. And you don't want to just crook it as all get out now, but they don't have to be perfect. Now, one reason I said with squares, and if you ever look at a book, they always use squares. And the squares is because basically when we build stuff, we usually tend to build it out of a square or a rectangle because it just gives us more room. Our rooms are, are um, rectangles or squares. It just gives us more room or more space in a rectangle than it would um, a circle or a triangle. So, you know, everything is basically a square or rectangle. Your refrigerator, your TV, your phone, your desk, your chair, your couch. So that is the most used shape that we use. So once you master that, and I always say that, once you master those shapes, then everything else is easy to draw. So from here, I want you to take and just put a, a, a point right there in the center 
of your character. Where's this thing at? And that is your vanishing point. I'm, I'm sure if you got if you're into perspective, if you know anything about perspective, you already know this. But if you're still trying to figure out perspective, what that is is you have that line, right? That's your glasses. That's the line in your glasses. And you have a point right there. And if you stood on a highway or railroad tracks and the railroad tracks just go back until it vanishes, that's your vanishing point right there. Now, on any line, any eye line, uh, this would be horizon line if it's outside. I just like to call it the eye line. You can have multiple points, but we're going to do one point for now, which is what they call it one point perspective. So from that point, I want you to, your corners, your corners, a lot of people have trouble drawing boxes. That, that's when you have to use your ruler. From your three points on your boxes, draw your line, one point, two point, three point, not your fourth point, just your, the, the, the closest points to that, closest edges to that point, draw lightly. I'm going to do this. Let's use blue. Two, and I'm not going to use the ruler because you won't be able to see. We're going to do this, this, and this. And you want to do, do, do it with all your boxes. So you're only going to see two of these because there's no way that you can do it with these two points. So you're going to do this one, this one, and then this one. So this one, this one. And then this one so here, here, and this is an exercise to, just to start you out drawing your background for your characters. So you just won't have a character in um, just on a paper like that. And it's another video. I'm sure it's, it's going to come out. I don't know the schedule of that or the lineup. Should I say? I've got a bunch of things, 90% done. I've just got to finish them, edit them, and then put them out. So I don't know who's going to come out first. So now, as I say, here's your line. Anything that's above that line, you're seeing the bottom of it. You're seeing the bottom. Anything that's below that line, you're seeing the top of it. And whatever's on that line, you're going to see basically just even. You're just going to see the side of it. So now if you take those boxes or these lines going back to this vanishing point and you chop them off like this, however long however short, like that. Then you have your cubes that are surrounding this person. Now, you can say, remember now that everything we make is square, basically 90%, 99.5. Well, it's basically square. So let's just say I do this, take this square, now, there's all this is all of this is in perspective right off the bat. Once you do that, it's in perspective. It's right. It's sitting right on the paper. Now let's turn this into something. So let's say this is going to be a table. Let's say this is going to be let's just say a little couch. Now any line you draw that kind of mimics these lines have to go to that point. Okay, it has to go to that point. So if I draw this line up, and it, even though it's not straight up, it's leaning back because your couch is usually not straight up. They lean back. These lines have to go to that point. So take your, your, your back line, make it cross your front line, and then to that point. So it's going to go from here to here, and then to that point. But I'm not going to draw the rest of the way. So let's just say we put some cushions here, cushions here. And this is where you're going to have to, you know, figure out how stuff is made, furniture is made. And of course, this is going to be like straight back here. Extend that a little bit. You can put some arms on your couch. But for your basic, um, what was I going to say? Your basic line work is right. So I don't know what, what, what we would put here. So this person's feet are down here. Okay, so this is this is where he's standing. So this could be, I don't know, what could that be? So that's that's further behind him. Whatever. You can actually extend the line to make it higher, you can make it lower, 
you just have to figure out what is going to be around that person. So if you're doing a person, you want them in a room, you just say, okay, I want a, a bed here. Let's just do this. He said, I want something right here behind him. Always do your character and then put your line. Put your line. Just start out in the center. Say, okay, I want this couch right here. And maybe I want a bed right here and a dresser right here. So it's, you don't have to have things floating in the air. Just put your squares there. Here's your line. You go that way, that way. Chop it off. Same thing here. This way, this way. Chop it off. So if this was going to be like a dresser or a shelf, like this, you have your shelf lines there. So if this was going to be, what did I say? This is just what a dresser. This is this bed. Let's make this bed a little longer. So by adjusting your squares or rectangles, get my headboard. Headboard is straight up, right? And it's going to go down. Like that, a couple pillows. You can easily put your character or easily add some background to your character to make your picture look a lot more pleasing or just better, just more exciting. So you just have to figure out, but start out by doing that. Practice squares everywhere, just square and then go to that point. And this could be something floating in the air. It could be whatever, it could be a lap or something. It's kind of like high up for a lamp, but that's okay. Round that bottom off. Now we're getting circles. We're doing circles. Getting more advanced. But whatever would be in the air, in your room, in your picture, if you want to do somebody flying or an airplane, now we're getting round again. So we won't get round. We're just doing squares for now. So let's do another one. So let's take that character again. And let's put that line at the bottom. Let's, let's actually put his feet on that line. I made it a little too long for what I was trying to go for. So now <clears throat> you have your line at the bottom. So you were here. Your eye, your eyes were like right here. This is how you saw. So let's just say you kind of like got down on your knees and you were looking at this guy from like his, his belly button, right? So now you kind of lay down on the ground and this is going to be the line across your glasses. So again, we're drawing that square. We're drawing these squares. The rectangles, however. Let's put some on the line. Wherever you want to put, just Put a bunch of them on there. And let's just say again, let's put that fantasy point right there in the center. So again, the closest corners. Anything above that line, we're seeing the bottom. Anything uh, uh, below that line, we're seeing the top. So already you have your picture in perspective. So what can we do with these squares? Let's just say, let's just say this. Let's extend this. And as I said, you can extend it. Let's just say this. And we're going to do this. And this. And let's just say, we'll put another one back here. So these could be buildings, right? This guy could be like the protector of the city. So these are your buildings. These are your windows. And your buildings. How did I have this? This is right there. Of course, that's behind him. And this one's right here. So you can have your cityscape with your guy standing here heroically. He protected the um, city. So this could be whatever. This could be just a box. It depends on <laughs> what it could be. 
a bomb, a suitcase, or whatever. This could be something else, depending on the size of your um, squares or your imagination. But because this one is below that line, you're going to see the top of this. And this one is right on that line, so you really won't see that. So it could be anything. It could be like a little, little, little um, remote control drone or something like that. Or maybe he's a giant and that's a bus running, you know, here or there is another bus. But it's all in perspective already. So this guy could be like shoulders high with the building. His feet are right here. The building could be there too, but right next to it there. But it depending it depends on the line or where you place that line in perspective. So let's do another one and put that line over top of the guy. Where's my other one? Get them out of the way. And that's so we draw your figure again. And then if you if people if you if you're having trouble just drawing the figure, I'll show you an easy way. Just draw a rectangle. Simple, simple rectangle. So this is from your shoulders to your crotch. Then two triangles. Triangles, yeah. Feet, two triangles for the arms. Two lines there for the neck, connect the head. You have a body. Now you want to do add more to that. You can do another triangle here, triangle there. These are for people that really just can't really draw and um, are having a hard time with the body, no matter how they, they, they do it. And just maybe a square, let's just say a square or, or triangle going up, but you just chop it off right here, almost a triangle. So you have your body. It, am I going to dress this body? Am I going to do a superhero? Um, is he going to have skin tight clothes? Is he going to have like regular clothes on? So if I'm doing a person and I said, well, I don't want him to have a, a, um, a square body. So just bring his waist in, bring it in a little bit. Where's my blue? Bring his waist in and then back out like that. Where, where, wherever the belt line is going to be at, you bring that in and back out. So Make that round. As I say, it depends on if you're trying to put clothes on the body or not. If you put clothes on it, it's going to cover up a lot of a lot of a lot of everything, really. So you don't have to work so hard. And we're going to cover that belt up with a t-shirt. It can have shorts on, or it can have like long long sleeve um, pants on. As I say, we covered that belt up with a t-shirt, which I'm not going to be able to erase because I drew it too dark. So get my red t-shirt. So t-shirt is going to come down. If, if your body's like this, if you put a t-shirt on, your t-shirt is going to come and cover that, that little piece of waist. So you don't have to worry about that. So you're back to square again. Back to square one. If you want to put the socks on the guy, put some shoes on the person. So that's a simple way to draw a person from using that rectangle. For those people who just can't really get that body right, it's really, really simple. And then you can come back and do your detail, however you want to do, whatever. You can put something on a guy's shirt, some couple wrinkles. You know, like I say, is he, is he wearing um, long sleeves, long sleeves, long pants or short pants? You put a pocket on the side, uh, whatever seams, or however. So it's just a simple way to draw the body, just to show you a simple way to draw the body. All right, back to perspective drawing. Head, square, but for me, I just do a quick rough like that. And it's the same thing, it's my squares, right? My rectangles right here. And then my triangles are right here. Same thing, pretty simple. So what did I say, above? Okay, so we got your figure. Let's, this guy's gonna be like above. This, your line is gonna be above the guy. So one thing about this, this gives you a lot, a lot more room to navigate stuff, to put stuff. So let's just say, here, 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 here. I'll put a couple of them up here, whatever, for whatever reason. Even one back here for whatever reason. So center, 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 um, vanishing point, and then your boxes go toward that. If this was a little more correct, you'd see the bottom. It's just really crooked.
and there's one, two, three. And we've got this one there. One, two, three. These are going to be separate. One, two, three. And then again, one, two, and barely three right here. So you have a lot more room when you put the perspective or your, your vanishing point, your vanishing point, your eye line away above because you have all this space that you can use and it depends on um, the size of your character, how much of the drawing you want to use. And when you look at um, comic books and the panels, you can see where they put the perspective line, the perspective line, the eye line to give them more room or less room or to add more stuff. It's just, once you start seeing it, you'll understand it. So this, let's see, I can chop it off right here. Chop this off right here. Chop this off right here. And I have no idea what these squares represent. It's just the fact that I'm showing you guys how to get started with perspective or, or adding stuff to your your picture is really simple but then it gets a little complicated when you start doing like cities cityscapes and so forth because you have to put all these windows in and all these windows have to line up and they have to be perfectly you know spaced and so forth and so on so yeah that's that's the only hard part that's kind of like what scares me in doing perspective i don't really do any cities yet so i you know i i, I my hat is off to those people that do like spider-man and all of those new york cityscapes and so forth but most of that stuff is what they do is they look at a picture of new york from a magazine or online and they basically kind of trace it out and then just add or take away elements that they want or don't want so yeah this what that's what animators do animators take the city the actual picture of it and then they'll just you know draw the thing kind of over it and as i say add a building or take out a building that they want you know so you know it's 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 easy but it's hard at the same time so with this you can have again you can shift shift the shapes and this instead of a building this could be a bus a regular size bus or Again, depending on the size square that you make, use reference for a bus, please. Don't bus like that. This could be, uh, let's see if I chop this up and put it here. This could be more furniture. Table. You could have <clears throat> his uh, books on it. And remember what I said, you can have as many vanishing points as you choose. So if I want to put a book here, and I wanted to, I, I didn't want it to be straight because everything is not straight up. Take that book, and I'll put it like this. So it was a, Then we're kind of getting into two points. So this one would go to this point right here. And this one would go off the page. <clears throat> to that uh, to another point which could be like way over here all right so I'm looking at this and it's crazy off because I really don't have my points that I want and it just became a little smaller but it is like that so this would go to that same point that this was going and this would go to that same point that that is going so it would look like this on a really crooked note and this is going to go there and that's going to go there so as I say, on a crooked note, it would be like that. So let's just imagine that was a chair that's pointed that way. So you have your back, a good chair. You can lean it back, but it's still that would follow that line here and go there. So he'd have this little chair that is here, a little line here, because that would go back there. So it wouldn't be sitting on that same, it wouldn't be all going back to that same point. And again, something up here, you can have uh, whatever, an airplane. Because <laughs> I'm trying to figure out how to draw an airplane, what kind of airplane. That's going to be going back. 
So you can use these squares as grids to put something in. Like if I did somebody flying, let's just say I'll use this, this grid. Let's just say like this. I'll put them inside it. I'm going to use a square inside of a square. And then use his feet. He's flying. But that's all coming from that one point. As I said, somebody could be coming from this point and somebody could be coming from that point. But just by adjusting the lines, where's the other ones? You will be able to do, where's my first one? This is my first one. A number of, I need to pull back with my camera a little bit so you can see my junkie desk. Let's do that. You have a number of ways to do your character and add some type of background so he just won't be floating in the white space of snow. White space of snow? Yeah, I guess that white space of snow. So, character. Character. Give this guy a little shape to him. Oh, girl. Well, how about you get a thing that writes, Brian? That might be a little better. the other guy and this arm man so start out with drawing your character just draw a, a figure or whatever and then just find where you would put your your horizon line or eye line Draw your squares and then turn those squares into something. In the beginning, you don't even have to turn the squares into something. If you just do this, if you just have that, then right off the bat, you know your perspective is right. And then you can slowly start adding stuff to it, depending on what it is you say you want in that room. Dresser, shelf. Bed. Complete with headboards and pillows. And then you can have your door since it's back here. You figure where, okay, when I put my door like right here. And maybe something on the wall. Let's just say if this was the. And I'm getting into crazy perspective now. And then you know, that's got to come here and you have something above the bed, a picture above the bed and ceiling light. But once you get this stuff, once you get this stuff down and understand it, it becomes really, really simple to start drawing background in your. See, I said it before, I cannot ink and draw at the same time. I don't know why I can I can draw I can pencil and draw, but I cannot ink and draw at the same time. I guess because that's so it's so it's so you know final. Oh, if you mess up, then you know it'll 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 never work. It'll come out wrong because I'm trying to talk and think and draw at the same time. But if I'm drawing with a pencil, it's cool because I can mess up. It doesn't make a difference because it's in pencil. So anyway, as I say. Um, once you start drawing these, you get a little more comfortable, comfortable doing it. Then you can take these squares and then start turning, turning them into something, whatever, furniture or electronic stuff or um, 
people you can put a person let me let me just do this real quick let's say let's use this and let's narrow it down if i'm if i can get it right so this is like this right so using this square as a person do i want to put it inside them or do i want to just use the square itself let's just say this let's skinny them out a little bit this is going to be my person. This is going to be really rough. This is going to be really rough because my brain is not there yet. Using that square. And I'll give him a little bit of side. It's my person. And he's going to be in perspective because his shoulder and his feet go back to that same thing. too. And you can do a three-quarters turn on he could be over here in perspective, but it's the same thing. As long as you have your squares, then, and you have them going back to that point, you're good to go. So before I mess up anything else, like trying to show you two-point perspective, let me show you a quick two-point perspective. Same thing, two-point perspective is just, you have your eye line, you have a point at far in and another far end. Sometimes you can have, it's better to take it off the paper far in and far in and then whatever you your square one is going to have to go this way let's put a center line center line that's going to be the corner of whatever one's going to go this way one is going to go that way like this and like that and then you have go up oh, don't go up let's go up you're going to have three lines coming from each side Okay, one, two, three, just like in a box. Let's remove that. And then you're gonna have your three lines, one, two, and three coming there. All right, so now you have your top, basis for your top, come down, come down. Now three point perspective is another point going down here, but these lines would kind of like, I can't think of the word, but something like that, you will, pretty much always have your point way off your paper. So the same thing with um, above, let's just say it's gonna be here, it's gonna be my line. It's over one, two, and do these two first. One, two, going that way. And then you can have your third one, depending on the size of the box. One, two, three, take it all the way across. And the same thing here, one, two, three, take it all the way across. That forms your box. What happened to my box? Okay, <laughs> here it is. And that's what I said, perspective is like math. It's easy, but when you get too many numbers up in there, it gets, it gets crazy. For me, anyway, my eyes are just when I get too many too many lines, my eyes are just just they're just all over the place. But as long as these lines go back to your vanishing points, you're good to go. You don't want to have your vanishing points like right here and right here because you just it it just won't work. It's best if you have one here and another off the page. But at least as far as the page can go, or you'll, you'll screw up more. I mean, you can have one here, but you need the next one way off the page somewhere. So if I drew my person in here, your person is pretty much going to always be the same. Unless you deliberately draw him. At an upper or lower angle. So, yeah, your person could be the, the same. Just that line, and then this line here. This could be anything. This could be like a vending machine, a Coke, Coke machine, or something like that. Get your Coke, Coke machines have big glass, Brian. Draw a Coke machine, big glass, sodas inside. Look at the picture. Whatever, wherever you put your money, where you punch your numbers, and then this little drawer to, to um, 
get your soda out of. So yeah, it all depends on how you, um, how long your, how high you, how tall your rectangle is. I'm starting to, I'm, I'm starting to mumble now because there was something else I wanted to show you one more thing, but I think I'm gonna let this one go for now because oh, as I say, unless you deliberately draw your character. At a, a at a down angle, then your perspective is kind of you can't do your your line perspective because you're looking down at him, which means your your line is going to be way above him in the first place because you're looking down at him, and that's a whole new take on reality. So yeah, so at that I'm going to let this one go, and hopefully you guys got something because it was much more that I wanted to say, but as I said, if I if I sit on something. If I sit on an idea too long, I start to forget a lot about it. So I'm going to say, yeah, as I always say, see you guys in the next video.